What's your favorite pizza? Stuffed crust? Veggie lovers? Pizza pie? What if I told you you can make all these at home? It's really a fun and easy to make pizza at home. Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm making homemade pizza. Yes, pizza pie, pizza from the scratch. That means I'm going to make the dough, sauce, and the entire pizza. So let's begin. The first step is to prepare the dough. In the bowl of a stain mixer, combine all-purpose flour, salt, sugar, Italian seasoning mix or simply garlic will do. If desired, throw in some red pepper flakes. I am using Rapid Rise Active Dry Yeast, so I add straight in with all the ingredients. Mix all dry ingredients really well. Now add oil. I like to add generous amount of oil as I like my pizza crust a little crunchy. Add warm water. It is very important to add warm water which is at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit to bloom and multiply the yeast well. Initially I'm going to add 2 cups of water and mix. Then place the bowl under the mixer and start kneading the dough in a rhythmic manner for 8 to 10 minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic. You may need to add in a little bit more or less flour and water but the key is to remember that the dough will still be sticky and will stick to your fingers when you try to pull it apart so it shouldn't be hard. Alright, so the pizza dough is ready. Grease a bowl, then place the dough back into the bowl. Turn the dough to coat it in oil. Cover the bowl with a plastic wrap or a towel and let the dough rise at room temperature until doubled, about 1 hour. Punch down the dough. After your dough doubles, gently punch it down, literally, so that the gases are released from the dough. Usually two to three gentle punches are enough to degas the dough and knead the dough gently. If you prepare your dough ahead of time and refrigerate or freeze um, and just use as needed, but make sure that your dough is well fermented. Uh, once it's fermented well, then only refrigerate or freeze. Um, then, you know, you have a lot of fun making pizza anytime you want. I have seen even some people just go ahead and, you know, prepare the base. Like, you know, roll out the dough and, uh, you know, half bake um, the crust. And so when needed, all you have to do is just, you know, top it up and finish baking. Next, let's prepare the sauce. Into the medium size of a pot, take a tablespoon of oil. Add minced garlic and saute garlic for a little bit, about 30 seconds. Ready to add tomato puree. If desired, add red chili pepper flakes, salt to taste, and here I have the Italian seasoning mix and sugar to balance the flavor. Give this all a really good stir. Cover the pot and simmer the sauce for about five minutes. And as you can see, the sauce is ready. I'm going to get some basil leaves from my garden. Herbs like basil or parsley is must when preparing Italian recipe. Just tear apart the basil and add into the sauce. 
You can even prepare the sauce ahead of time and can be refrigerated for up to a week if you cook it properly. Now when it comes to toppings, there are endless possibilities. And just think of the toppings that you love. Our family favorite toppings are onion, colorful bell peppers, mushrooms. Now a lot of time I get the question, what cheese do I use for pizza? Now usually mozzarella cheese is used but I never use mozzarella cheese on my uh, pizza. I prefer to use you know extra sharp white cheddar uh, just because I prefer to use the cheese which has no animal rennet in it um, but if you are okay with any kind of cheese you can go ahead with mozzarella white cheddar um, even many other Italian cheeses available these days so the, so the choice is yours all right so here I have the dough after the second rice here is how it looks like and I'm going to punch down the dough again and knead slightly it's time to get the rolling board and pin. Get some dry flour on to the rolling board and knead the dough till it gets nice and smooth. This recipe gives three pounds of dough. So I'm going to divide into one pound each. I'm making three pizzas. Take one ball at a time and press it down to expand or spread or you can simply roll initially I just you know try to spread with my hands and then eventually I start rolling with the rolling pin transfer the rolled dough onto the baking tray like so and adjust with the baking tray now here I have the cake tin apply generous amount of oil to get the fried kind of crust for the pizza pie and stuffed crust i'm going to make pizza pie as well and also i'm going to make stuffed crust pizza and i love to use this kind of a baking trays the cake baking trays to prepare the pizza pie now to prepare the stuffed crust pizza pie or pizza just press down the edges of the pizza dough. Now if desired, cover the rolled pizza dough and allow it to rise again if you have some time. I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the edges again. Arrange cheese balls or shredded cheese under the edge. Bring edge of dough over cheese, pressing to enhance the cheese in the dough. Now I really love to sprinkle garlic powder on top of the crust to get that garlicky flavor in the crust. Spread pizza sauce. and sprinkle with cheese more garlic powder on top also throw in some Italian seasoning red chili pepper flakes and our stuffed crust cheese pizza pie is ready the next one I'm making is veggie lovers pizza pie with cheese stuffed crust so spread the pizza sauce again i forgot to sprinkle the garlic so i'm just sprinkling garlic spread with cheese and here i have roasted garlic this is one of my favorite these days to add roasted garlic in many recipes including pizza throw in some onion colorful peppers sprinkle some chili pepper flakes Italian seasoning mix and our veggie loaded stuffed crust pizza pie is ready and the last one is going to be regular veggie lover pizza so spread the pizza sauce 
spread with cheese. Top with vegetables like onion. I also love to add roasted garlic, throw some colorful peppers, mushrooms, olives. Not sure if you notice, I spread the cheese at the bottom and then throw vegetables on top of cheese because I love to see that colorful pizza. Sprinkle some red chili pepper flakes, Italian seasoning and again top it up with more cheese. This is how I like to prepare my pizza. Now it's time to bake all the pizzas. And here I have the veggie lover regular pizza ready. Pizza gets done faster than the pie in about 18 to 20 minutes. Here I have the stuffed crust cheese pizza pie. Easy to open with cake tin like this. And as you can see yummy looking thick crust cheese pizza pie is ready. Ready to cut pizza into slices and I can't wait to eat all these pizzas. Look at this. Look at how the crust and the pizza pie looks like. Here is my veggie lover regular pizza with large pizza slices. Look at this. The vegetable loaded stuffed crust pizza pie. Yum. Alright, so here I have my vegetable loaded pizza and pizza pies ready and I can't wait to dig into them. My favorite is onion, peppers, pizza pie. Would you like some? Mm. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. You can also visit my website boundlesskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Boundless Kitchen is everywhere. Also you can watch me on a big TV screen using Amazon Fire, Roku, even YouTube app. And I highly recommend to download my app totally free bonus kitchen on iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. Thanks for watching and see you soon.